Hey, how you doing? So I kind of wanted to give a tour. Over here on the right we have the ranges, over here on the left we have the arcade. To sum it up kind of easily, the right side is the nerd fun, the left side is the fun fun. Over here on the range side we have what's come along so far. We have sandbox ranges and situation type maps. The sandbox ranges are for engaging a single target at short or long distance and getting the feedback directly from the board. The situation tests are based on the idea of creating a situation against a one-on-one -on -one target and engaging and passing or failing the test based on how it's set up. And if we go over here to the arcade side is basically where the fun fun is. We have sandbox arcade maps, we have survival type arcade maps, we have protect the VIP type arcade maps over there. You can adjust things like the time and how many come into the scene at once, um, different types of vehicles in some scenes and others, we'll get to that. So if we just want to spend some time at the range and get some feedback, we load up. We use our kiosk, which is on every map. We can select all our weapon types from here. Um, pistols, battle rifles, scope rifles, submachine guns, explosives, archery equipment, and some stuff I'm going to add later. But for right now, let's just take good old plain old compound bow. And we can have a little fun with our target, like make him run really fast. Yeah, that hurt. And here we've got the one mile range, where you can adjust the distance and say if you wanted to dome a target with, let's say, a 50 caliber at, let's say, about 150 yards. That is totally something you can do here. You just set your distance, reset your target, spawns at said distance, and... Yep. The simulator also has these situation style maps where there's a set of rules. We have weapons we can choose from. I'm going to take this here. And we can go ahead and start the test. And the conditions are we can't engage it until it engages us. Um, don't get stabbed. They're hostile if they run at you or they cross the red line. Don't do nothing, are you? No. No. Yep. <laughs> Nope. Mm. So then back over here on the arcade side, we have the first map I ever built, which is called Robin's Hood. Basically, these maps are for fun. This one's an arcade sandbox that has all the weapons choices, including the uh, fun little explosive arrows. We have buttons here to control how many targets will spawn simultaneously. The, we have some time controls if you'd like to play it on different settings. The three minute challenge is for the scoreboard and the spawn control is just sort of an on and off if you want to just mess around with it. And when we start a spawn on an arcade map in the sandbox mode, they just come out as many as we uh, said for it to come out. So this is the Metal Garden map where I've introduced the environment as another weapon. Not only can the player shoot the target, but the shots can also have the effect of sending the target careening into one of these various nasty looking sharp things. Now here's a map I've done in survival mode, which is uh, just slightly different from the rest. Um, what we do is we set the number of targets we want to spawn out. We can select our weapon as we usually do. Start survival challenge. So this challenge doesn't end at the end of three minutes like some of the other arcade maps do. This one ends when you get hit. So that's your score tally. A safe place with a lot of firepower is what you want in this situation. Then I started to advance the sandbox mode a little bit and added some water and vehicles. Notice we have some extra controls for the amount of planes and targets on the ground to spawn. Combination of any two and we start the challenge, it'll do it. I recommend the bigger gun on this one. Like 
is that there's dummies in the vehicles just like on the ground, so if you manage to hit them. This one here is an ocean map I call the rig. A couple of aircraft carriers out in the distance, a whole bunch of firepower, they come in from the landing boats and the planes come in from the carriers. I also plan to add boats, just haven't done it yet. And while uh, using the turrets, it's still a lot of fun. And the most recent one I've been working on is Protect the VIP style. Different style arcade mode where instead of protecting yourself, you're protecting someone else. Something big. So I 3D printed this attachment. Definitely recommend it for the rifle stuff. There's a bunch of them online. Free. Don't worry, sir. We got this. And that's what happens when he gets hit. That's pretty much what I got so far. Uh, at this point, it's just making things prettier, add more content, add more guns, add more maps. Um, pushing, pushing, pushing to release. Hoping to have it out this fall. See you guys soon. Controller one, controller two. Here, okay. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? So it's been a minute. That looked like it hurt. Yep. That's about right. Don't forget to have fun.